Do you know what we're doing today? <laughs> I do not know what we're doing today. What, do, what, what has been told to you about today? Uh, your shoes might get dirty. Mm-hmm. And it's an outside thing. Mm-hmm. And I know we're in, like, the Eng- English countryside. Mm-hmm. But it's in a, where we're going is in this tiny little village that we're staying in. Yeah. So it's not, like, a big metropolitan area. So I'm thinking it's some sort of outside thing where my shoes might get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> they like, it. what do they do out here? I don't know. The, I, sh- there's a lot of sheep, so maybe a sheep is going to get involved. Or I saw yesterday that there were a lot of people doing, like, motorbike riding and stuff. is like, a big thing that happens or used to happen out here. So that's another thing that I'm like, maybe a motorbike is going to happen. Or maybe both. Maybe a sheep and a motorbike. I can tell you that if a sheep gets involved, it will not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> but, it yeah, you, happy. you found something that... Um, I have no clue what we're going to go do, which is fun. We're probably going to leave, I think, in about 10 minutes. Yeah. And then I don't know what you're going to find once we get there. <laughs> I, I can't believe that I found this. So Did you we'll find see. it online? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, all right. <laughs> We've now driven like five minutes outside of the little, the little village that we're staying in. And we're now, I mean, in the country, but we're basically in the country in the village, too. And we're out a country estate and spa, which is what this building says. And Katie went in to do something and now we're walking down a road and we're walking towards sheep. So uh, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little worried here. We already saw two dead sheep yesterday. Yeah, we did see so two dead sheep. So maybe um, we'll just steer clear of the sheep today. <laughs> Have you figured out what we're doing? Yeah, we're driving a Land Rover. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's my it. God. The car will just fully look wow. all the way down. Wow. Ooh. That's it. Just keep your wheels dead straight ahead, Eric. That's it. <laughs> just let the car do the work. That's it. You feel where the back had just gone light and just stepped out of line slightly. Yeah. So just to the left a little touch more. Okay. Now straighten your wheels dead straight ahead again, Eric. Yeah. That's it. Don't turn the wheels. Uh-huh. Now brake and clutch to a stop. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> now breathe. <laughs> you survive. Okay, well, that was amazing. Was it what you thought it was going to be? No, I didn't think so. And I'm glad you're right. That's a good thing there were no sheep involved. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, basically they have like a track for Land Rovers here that they've built. And he mentioned that it was like Land Rovers track yeah, at some Land point. Yeah, Land Rover like built do, this like 20 years maybe, ago. Maybe for testing or something yeah. like that. And then they've got a bunch of Land Rovers and you can just give them some money and he teaches you how to drive across terrain that you didn't think you could drive across. In a very like methodical and pinpointed manner at this particular moment that's exactly what needs to happen and you don't have to worry about messing anything up just follow the guidance yeah he's he's really really good about it and really calm and he's thinking ahead of like everything that's happening and it's like part of part of the experience is amazing is the just driving and the part of it is watching this guy operate his like his life and like yeah think about the squirrely people like us that he gets to deal with sometimes that are like tweaking out about like Mm -hmm. stuff and he's just so calm and so chill all just have faith in the system little touch to the left that's it. Brilliant. Straighten the wheels again there, Catherine. Yeah, little touch to the left again. Brilliant. I know people like Land Rovers and stuff. I never knew why, but I know now. I want one. I know now why. Oh my God, I want one. Yeah, it's an amazing machine. There's so many times where you just like, you just, he's just like, okay, put your, take both your feet off the everything and just put them flat on the floor and just let the vehicle go. And like it climbs up a hill, like when you're just on sitting there own. on its own. It's like you're in a roller coaster. Yeah, there were there were definite times where I thought you're I like, control this roller coaster. Yeah, you're, you're on a track or something. It feels really crazy. The Land Rover itself looks really top heavy because they're so tall, but it, it's just the way that it feels, it's like it's glued down. It's mm. really strange. And I don't know, did you have any like, moments because we both got to drive like we, we luckily we got to switch back and forth and stuff yeah yeah is there anything specific about the driving that you thought the, that was the, the first fun, most large fun? the first large hill that we went on and i sat back and all that was in the windshield was clouds which <laughs> yeah. Was awesome yeah you have moments I, where you can't see the ground at yeah, all i really enjoyed or that another moment i recall you can't see the sky you're just looking straight. Yeah, you're, looking you're looking straight, straight the down this hill, and it's just like, oh my gosh! Yeah, and that was just the first hill. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> I'm talking about the beginning of the hill. You're talking about the end of the hill. The um, um, the tilting too, like the left and the right when you yeah, go across hills, and like the side of the hill is way higher. Twenty degrees and thirty degrees and things like that. That is incredible. Yeah. Um, 
going through the water. The you, water you like was probably my favorite. Because most of the time he's like take 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 all the take all the power off of the accelerator and let the vehicle kind of do its job. But when you go through the water, he's like step on the accelerator. And you need to push the push the water apart and stuff. So it feels very different than the rest of the experience mm -hmm. does when you just get to like kind of gun it, you know. Yeah. And you're I mean you're not you're going like 10 miles an hour or something. But after going one mile an hour up these mountains or whatever, it on feels your roller like coaster. it feels like you're going very fast at 10 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And then dude, at one point you went downstairs and I didn't know we were going downstairs. Like I had no idea. I couldn't see him because I was sitting in the back. And it's like gung, 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 gung. And, and then he goes, so you just drove downstairs. I'm like, those were stairs. <laughs> and then we went reversed back up the stairs. Yeah. That was weird. Like, what? Yeah. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> then we switched and I did a, a similar course to what you did because mm -hmm. you went first when we went over to the main area. Yeah. And then I got to go up the stairs and go through the water again. And um, they've got like moguls and stuff. Moguls. Yeah, yeah. And, and the there moguls. There was undulating terrain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Really, really recommended. Like, yes, yeah. I, and we only did for one hour, and I'm like, I could do this all day. Mm -hmm. Like, no joke. It was that much fun. I would, I would do it again and again. I'm thinking about getting a Land Rover. You want, you want to buy a Land Rover? And some land, and like, that would take a lot of work to make this obstacle course. It would. It'd be easier to just move here. Good point. <laughs> maybe I can just borrow their course. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You could. Do, what you need to do is you need to work towards becoming an instructor like Martin, and you could have the skills. I'm gonna be yelling at people. I was just <laughs> yeah. Gonna... Oh, that's yeah. Going back to that, I I would be losing my mind. Like I'd be grabbing the wheel and like wanting to stomp on the on the brake and stuff. But he's very very like calm, perfect yeah. perfect instructor. Car's name was Big Bear. <laughs> Don't know if anybody if I said that at any other time, but yeah, Big Bear. <laughs> And even if you took your foot off the gas pedal now, it wouldn't stall, it would just crawl up here itself. You can just feel how much, once you go into this low ratio gearbox, okay. how much power that engine has. Yeah, I'm not touching the accelerator No, at it all. just it crawls along. Yeah, exactly. That's so weird feeling. That's alright, because the next <laughs> bit is going to be even uh, a little bit more weird, I'm going to guess. During our time in Yorkshire, we spent a day exploring Leeds, but we didn't make a full video about it. However, we did go and shoot some crossbows and shot a little video we wanted to share, but it wasn't substantial enough to make its own video, so we decided to tack it on here. Enjoy! We've come down to Leeds today, and we are at the Armory Museum. One of the highlights of what I saw on the internet was shooting crossbows, and I like shooting things, so we're definitely going to be shooting some crossbows today. And if you see we've got safety goggles on, that means fun. I got a very... Frightening. It wasn't frightening, but I'm frightened at me being able to do the preparations for a crossbow. But what I saw was you pull the guy back until it clicks. The safety is on. Put your pointy end towards the front. Red goes down into the barrel. Well, barrel is not a good term. Push it back nice and snug. Now, essentially, we're ready. We just need to take the safety off. I'm a little nervous. Okay, I pushed you know, it forward. Do you know how to aim? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna go for top, middle, left. Did that make sense? Sure. You. That's something. You hit it. I hit it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm, I'm waiting for it to lunge back, but since it's in the thing, that's so nice. My shoulder's not going to get bruised, mm. so that feels pretty good. Keep that back. Pointy end forward. That's really important. In safety forward. All right, I'm totally going to get it this time. Uh, I wasn't pushing the trigger at all. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I didn't even see where that one went. And, mm, maybe it bounced off. Or maybe I'm that good, shot it straight through the wall. <laughs> I'm the best. This is where you find out if you're colorblind or not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you remember? Do I remember what? Which one's right? How to shoot a crossbow. Oh, how to shoot a crossbow. <laughs> that is not yeah. something I thought I was going to ask yeah, you, in my <laughs> lifetime. Do you remember how to shoot a crossbow? You pull this back. Okay, yep. it catches. Uh -huh. And then red down. And then you pull it back all the way. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to shoot the, the target below yours. 
That's not the trigger. Uh, is it safety? Yeah, you have to push it forward. Ah. Uh, mm. Just a little bit. Like, it doesn't make any noise uh, or anything like, well, it was okay. a little bit of a noise. I get it now. Kind of a soft forward. My arrow just vanished. It's just poof. Where are they going? <laughs> it's like a mystery. <laughs> After we've shot everything out, um, I'm feeling kind of <laughs> inferior, <laughs> extremely. What's this, what's this guy doing over here in the 25 range, What's this man? guy doing over here? <laughs> no, I shot it from a different crossbow, but it still didn't do very good. It's only a 50. I did manage to get a definite 100 and a questionable. Yep. But we're being generous. That's another 100. Yeah, okay, so... Like, and yours? <laughs> oh. I got this uh, nice little packet here. Mostly centered here in the middle. I you don't know if you've you noticed. You said you had good grouping. Yeah, and so this is really good grouping. This is, this is 400 right here. And then uh, just some chains around the edge that just uh, took it over the edge for Katie a bit. But look at, look, look at this. Look at these three. Look at these. You want some of the change? These three are like, like right in the line. You almost could have split one. Yeah. I couldn't even see them from back there, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I was, just aiming, I was just aiming a little bit high. I was aiming just like above the 50 because I just figured it would just arc down a little bit. And I think my technique worked. Arcing? You're, you're over here thinking about arcing? None of this, none of this training. What were you thinking about? Winning, mainly, <laughs> and just losing. Let's keep going. Yeah. And once it's gone totally quiet, the gearbox has you. So you can wow. now put your feet fully flat on the floor. Okay. So I you see. could sit here for a year and a day. Did you fetch a picnic? <laughs> no, just as well, because at this angle we tend to spill our tea. Keep it <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this week's shorter than normal video. If you want to see more car related videos, we have a video from when we went drifting in the Japanese mountains linked on screen and down below. More UK videos are on their way soon, including Isle of Man, Scotland, and the Mighty Gargrave. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything.